we are actually dumping our sewage in a pond. This is kind of the uh, the beginning of the end. Yeah. Oh, they have closed the campground. Oh my gosh, it is closed. It's not just closed, it is padlocked and sealed. Well, this road is super narrow. Snow coming our way, but it's advancing. Yeah, there's something going on. There's way too many people on the road. And that snow up there, yeah, that wasn't there when we came through here. Plugged in our next stop. It's only 3,808 <laughs> miles. I got one question for you this morning. Ark, did you ready for a road trip? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I didn't tell her I was gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so. Nothing we do is rehearse, so what you see is what you get. <laughs> the good and the bad. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so, we've driven as far north as you can drive. We've hit the Arctic Ocean, obviously. Yeah. Several days here in Tuck. Uh -huh. was really nice yeah but i think mother nature is trying to tell us that we need to head south yeah we've only got about 3800 miles to our next stop yeah. there's gonna be several stops in between right it's been a great trip it has this is kind of the uh, i'm gonna start to cry <laughs> this is kind of the uh the beginning of the end yeah yeah. yeah definitely but uh it's been a uh, man it's been a phenomenal yeah. almost six months uh -huh. and it was neat to finish it here in the arctic camping on the ocean uh -huh. so cool yeah. today's <laughs> literally a little on the cold side really just a, a neat experience yeah. man and unexpected too yeah. before everyone starts crying <laughs> we're gonna head on i will just check in as we make our way south but stay tuned because we have a lot more adventures planned in the upcoming months and years. That's so right. We're not done. Definitely not done. We're just going to be doing it most of the time in a much bigger unit. Found the RV dump station, which is located at the Tuk Tatoyuk Tuk Sewage Lagoon. And unlike Inuvik, where they have heated sewer pipes, everybody has a big black tank, basically, and then it gets pumped out, and then it gets dumped into... It's the sewage lagoon! This is a first for us. We are actually dumping our sewage in a pond. So when but it's I, legal. It is. When I called about a week or so ago before we came up here, I asked about dumping facilities and the lady told me, well, there is a sewage lagoon. And I wasn't <laughs> sure what that was. But now as we're leaving town, we see this sign. And apparently there's a couple of places where they actually dump their sewage into this lagoon. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a first. <laughs> <laughs> so actually while we were here one of the trucks was dumping and I, I had to go ask what do they do in the winter time because when this lagoon is frozen what do they do with their sewage and she said that it actually doesn't freeze all the way solid that there's a coat of ice and then um, the water down below and there's I don't know if you see but there's a pipe at these different chutes right here and that pipe goes underneath the ice so they're able to always um to dump here i didn't ask any more questions yeah because that's kind of a crappy subject oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> more cold hard facts right that's right up in the arctic <laughs>
So on the road from Tuck down to Nuvik, there's no pullouts per se. So we just look for areas for lunch and such uh, that are off the side of the road that have a wide spot in it. And that's what Sandra's doing. She's doing my get out and look. So gave us the thumbs up. I guess we're ready to have some lunch. Is that how you do it? Jumping that's, up and that's down? That's how I do, I do it. it properly? Yeah, I have a little more style than you. But. <laughs> you do. <laughs> But I haven't gotten it stuck yet. No, that's true. We are back at Bob's getting fuel. <laughs> Doesn't that sound odd? Bob's in Univic, uh, Northwest Territories? Yeah. It just sounds Bob's. weird. Bob's. Yep. Bob. <laughs> but this time, we get 5% off. That's right. We have our coupon. coupon that we got last time. Well, in one quarter mile, we're going to have to turn left on Dumpster Highway and get back on the dusty, dirty road. But we enjoyed the last six miles of pavement. Sometimes all good things must come to an end. Whitehorse, 1,200 kilometers. Continue on this road for 72 miles. 72 miles to the McKenzie River Ferry. First stop for the night, going southbound on the Dumpster Highway. We're gonna stop at Gwich'in. Gwich'in? Gwich'in. Gwich'in Territorial so. Campground. Hopefully it's still open. <gasps> Yay, the gates are open. <laughs> Flashbacks to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they close these at some point. Yeah. But not today. Not today. And then on the way up, we actually drove through here just to kind of check it out. And it was really nice. It was nice. Yeah. So the ones on the left have a view of the water. On the right. Yeah, the one. That's what I <laughs> meant, not what I said. Well, that's really pretty. And then the ones over there on that other side. Oh, that's pretty. That looks kind of level too. Yeah, it does. You want to do that one? Let's sure. We go up one more. We can one back more. Up. There's no one behind us. And we don't have the Jeep. No. Well, that's nice too. Looks pretty good. Slide, bedroom slide wasn't coming out. No. So. The last couple times the slide's been acting really wonky when we're pull when we're trying to bring it in and yeah. you push it. Yeah. And then the we just got here at the campground and now what's happening is on the back side it's hanging up. So David went online, watched a YouTube video. Yeah, I did. To see how to reset this thing. Yeah. So the uh, control panel is here so this isn't going to be a how-to this is just no. how we're doing it real quick yeah so so here's the control panel right here yeah now do you have to lift what's well, like let it press and hold it and then lift up your right foot and your yeah. left elbow yeah and, something like that and oh. i press it six times fast and then the seventh time you just sort of hold press on. and hold for six seconds yeah Let's go see if we can extend this bad boy. Okay. Extend. Oh, it worked. Yeah, so it's past that point where it was hanging up. So I think it was the synchronizing yeah. mechanism that needed to be reset. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Very equalizer. These cars blew right past us a little while ago and now they're had to pause for the ferry. It's a nice sunny it is beautiful day. It is. Sunny 47. I don't want to say it's the warm 47. Here's our ferry waiting on us. They don't mess around. 
as soon as our back tire is going to be on that ferry, the guy is going to go unless there's somebody behind us. This looks just like the ferry in the Port Aransas. Yeah, it does. Gentlemen, start your engines. Oh man, that, look how my, oh. We're not gonna make that. There's no way we're gonna make that. Captain is making a slight course correction. Yes, an adjustment, because it's a little steep. Yeah. Let's let the car go first. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us be last. <laughs> okay with that. Oh, we're going to so scrape the back of the hitch. I'll bet we're going to scrape the um, jacks, too. No, he let them off first in case we got stuck, I bet. Yeah. Watching for the jack ski. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that so you was, went on uh, the left side to make it more level? Yeah, there was, I went on the left side of the ramp because it looked like it was a little more level than the right side. Yeah, well, that's good. So, yeah. Unique experience on these ferries. It is. Every crossing's a little different because yeah. the the shore changes. Everything. How's the trip been so far? We saw some people last night. We Steve did. Steve and Cindy. Yeah. So they're locals. They're actually from New Nuvik and um, super nice people. And they happened to see the magnitude and yeah. asked us some questions about it and um, then invite us over to just chit chat with them around their campfire and that was really cool and yeah it was nice and they didn't know us from the channel they yeah. just they knew us from the, the magnitude because he'd been looking at one of those for yeah. a while mm -hmm. and they're kind of few and far between up in the northwest territories yeah. <laughs> but that was neat we tried yeah muck tuck muck tuck david is trying muck tuck and then you could go back to your home and tell people Well, he hasn't spit it out, so that's good. Okay. A bit different than anything. It is different. Before. It is. It's almost, uh, yeah. Calamari. Calamari. Yeah, very similar. Okay. Texture-wise. All right. Not bad. Good Pretty job. Good. <laughs> so this is new new territory because he doesn't eat fat, I mean, of any kind. None. But mostly this is skin, they said. Yeah. yeah. So oh, he doesn't eat which skin. Which I'm not crazy about skin either on chicken. Yeah. <laughs> of anything. <laughs> Good job. You can say you tried. That's right. Exactly right. Yeah. That's right. You so I have and... tried it. And moose. And moose. Oh, I used to say I'm never gonna look at a moose again. I'm gonna look at him like, oh, he looks tasty. Burger, steak. Yeah. It was actually it was good. really good. Yeah. We're gonna keep on uh, heading down yeah. south. And we're not sure where we're going to stop tonight. No. It depends on the road conditions and, you know, how we feel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep on going and we'll see you guys later. Enjoy. Curiosity has an extra exhaust vent. <laughs> All right. Oh. Turbo. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go fix that when, um, Well, the, the cap is still there. Yeah, cap's still there, so I just need to Screw it tighten on. it. All right, well, I'll go fix lunch if you want to mess with that. Yeah. Okay, we are entering Fort McPherson. And there's just something a little... What's the word? Comforting? Comforting about a... An area town that named, you're familiar with? Yeah, and a so, town named Fort McPherson. Is it the next road or the... It, so it had the sign pointing this way. But I think we went down that we road. We did. We went down that way. So we're going to do something different. This is a new way. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty view of the lake. Yeah. And this might take us through downtown Fort McPherson, which we missed last night. We did. Look at 
Look at those people have their windows open. It's 54 degrees outside. Trying to get enough in here so we can get to Dawson City. But we'll see what it looks like <laughs> mm -hmm. at Eagle Plains. Yeah. So. Oh, as far as the level? Yeah. Yeah. So everyone is carrying water bottles. So maybe that's a Sunday thing. Yeah, so it's sort of an afternoon nap, which these guys get out and walk. Yeah, there's something going on. There's way too many people on the road. And they I all look they very were. happy. Yeah, is it because it's almost yeah. over? <laughs> really. And here's some baby strollers, too. Someone's walking their dog. All right, so let's... Uh, Are we going to ask somebody? Yeah, let's, let's ask... Uh, Hi. Does everybody walk on Sunday or? No, Terry Fox on. Oh, okay. So Terry Fox on today. Okay. So how long of a Just run? Just from here to the airport and back. Oh, okay. That's great. It's neat. It's the whole community too. So it's just not the young. I mean, literally, it's probably the whole town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that might explain why the grocery store is empty. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Which, by the way, Oh. That was a really nice grocery store in, in, in Fort McPherson. Like, super clean, and I don't know if they just got a delivery, but the produce was immaculate. It was perfect. It looked really, really good, but it was a little pricey. Um, well, yeah, it's head all of, pricey. Yeah, a head of lettuce was five bucks, but that's what it was down in Dawson, and the stuff in Dawson didn't look good at all. Yeah. Um, and milk, Not bad. Uh, no gallons or four liter sizes. They had a two liter bottle for five dollars. No, I'm no, sorry, ten. Ten dollars. So, you know, rough. That's again twenty bucks a, a, gallon. a gallon. Not drinking a lot of milk up here. Well, we are. But we are not like if you super. lived up here. I don't think you're. Yeah, I, I I don't know if I could afford milk. <laughs> I'd have to try something else. Yeah. Where is Barry? It's on demand. So is he just like hanging out in the middle, or is he going over there? I think he's going picking over up, there yeah. to pick up those cars. And this is the cable car, the cable ferry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so he just cool. pushes a button. Guys, uh, out fishing. These ferries are pretty simple. There's no dock. It's just a piece of land on each side that they've graded down. And the ferry pulls right up to it, lowers the ramp after they get settled <laughs> and oh just uses their engine to keep the uh, tension and pulling up to shore <laughs> I mean they don't tie off or anything and then they give you the word and you get the heck off of the ferry before <laughs> it starts moving again and they don't uh, they don't wait very long no they don't mess around they do not they got a again, tight schedule to keep yeah like all day long well, at least he's nice and level Yes. Look at that. Very nice and lovely. I think this was the gentleman that escorted us last time. Oh, look, he's looking. He's checking our jacks. That is so nice. Oh, they have a restroom here. Yeah, the ramp's coming up. Oh, yeah. And off we go. Off we go. And just in case, a lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Curiosity is not going to float. Now this area looks like it's built up. Yeah, this doesn't really look I think they've rebuilt they built it up some. There's new um, I think so too. It's all changed. Because this does not have a drop. This one you go up. Yeah. We were dropping a bit. Yes. Coming in. I say the dumpster highway is always changing, kind of like a braided river. It's, it's alive. Is he pointing to us or no, the captain? No, he's pointing to the captain. So apparently, 
Okay. He wanted us to get a uh, nice level area. That is so sweet. These guys are just too nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. I hope not. Not, not for a couple years anyhow. Right. Look at all the boats here. Man. Kind of a popular... You got a little dock with a flag on it right there by the green. Oh my the goodness. Other side. That's Let me hilarious. See. Oh, that's cute. So we found this pull out or this road and David is backing into it just to let this guy pass. Yeah, he's not going <laughs> up this hill that fast. No. Poor thing. But I think he appreciates, hopefully, yeah. what we have done. <laughs> I think he did. Yep, he did. All right, off we go. Hopefully to find a camp spot for tonight. That's not closed. Ooh, potholes. Rock River. And I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we think we see a camper in there. not look like a campground. Well, not a Yukon campground. No. You. Maybe a stealth campground. Here we go. There's a sign up here. See a sign? One more time, but this now time... that's a picture of a tent. With gusto. This isn't just tent camping, is it? Nope. Are it's RVs. Sure? Are you sure? Nope. I'm not. <sighs> Never been here. Well, did you read up on it? Nope. <laughs> Saw it on the side of the road. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, see, see there's it. a picture of an RV. Okay. I feel better now. It's a cute little RV. We've learned that it's good to drive around. There might be a place on the river. You just don't know. You never know. There goes a squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. Wow. Huh. Site? So that's on the river. Yeah. Let's check out our campsite now that we're here. Maybe we might find that bear. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would. Well, there's like three of them. There are three paths. I think we should go down this path. Okay. Why, is there a bear down here? Do <laughs> there's no bear down there. Yeah, touch it. Huh? Touch it. Touch it. Yeah, it's nice and clear. Yeah. Part. Oh yeah. This whole summer has been cold water. We need to go to Hawaii so I can feel some really warm water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is nice and cold. It's pretty. 
really nice. Three truck campers stopped and said something about a pipe. Oh. Oh yeah. That little sucker came out again. Sure did. You trying to like stealth camp uh stealth dump or something? <laughs> <laughs> really? I need to be a little more stealthy than this though, don't I? <laughs> My. You want me to get you bigger? Well, I don't have it. You want a towel? You're not breathing that exhaust, are you? We're leaving the Arctic Circle. We're out of the Arctic. How does that make you feel? I'm very sad. I Aww. love being in the Arctic. <laughs> it's so cool. So no more Arctic jokes. No more Arctic jokes. I have to be done with that. You have to stop articulating about the Arctic. That's right. And it being so cool, no more cold, hard facts. No. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> it's time to move on. South. Maybe it'll get warmer. Maybe. It's 41 right now. Mm. Middle of September. Eagle Plains. Next service is 370 kilometers. Which would be the end of the Dempster Highway. Yes. We're going to avail ourselves to the facilities and get some water. Oh, yeah. they have... Close the campground. Oh my gosh, it is closed. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. All right, what do you bet? Oh, I bet the water's shut off I too. I bet the water's shut off too. It's a good thing we weren't counting on it. This was nice to have, not a need to have. Yep. All right. Wow, I am really glad we weren't planning on staying here tonight either. Yes, definitely. Oh yeah, the shower facilities are closed. And the bathrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're bolted <laughs> shut. Oh. Oh. They are done for the season. They are. All right, let's see. What do you think? Oh, I think, I think it's shut off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's shut off. I am so confident that the water's shut off, I'm not even going to get my hoodie on. It's like 41 outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, do I even need to bother getting out then? <laughs> I don't think so. Wow. Wow. I am shocked. Shocked. So no residual pressure? No. This the is the real deal? Real deal. Good pressure. So thank goodness this is still turned on. I am shocked. I am too. I mean, with the bathhouse locked, I mean, padlocked. It's not just closed, it is padlocked and sealed. Yeah, I am shocked this is got yeah. water. So well, hey. We didn't need it, but we're just topping off. And yep. So, so now we can live like luxury for the next couple of days. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm I'm assuming the rest of the Man. everything else can start shutting down. Yeah, no too. kidding. Uh, Dawson City and and Whitehorse, all those places may start shutting down now. Yeah. Oh, race against time. Eighty miles to go on the Dempster Highway and it's kind of cloudy. We noticed at lunch though termination dust up there. It's snowing and I don't know if you can see that line of snow coming our way but it's advancing. Yeah I think Mother Nature is trying to tell us to head south.
near Tombstone Campground, about 50 miles now to the end of the Dempster. This is in Tombstone Peak. Snow up there? Yeah, that wasn't there when we came through here 10 days ago. Now the Alaska Two Tone. And it's going to take a wash to get this thing clean. We have 33 miles left to go to finish the dumpster and it's amazing how much this road changes because when we were here how many days ago? About 11 days ago. 11 days ago, yeah. yeah. Um, we were blown through here going 45, almost 50 miles an hour and now the potholes are just ridiculous. Um, you know, they say that the road conditions on the dumpster changes and they are not kidding. In a quarter mile, turn left on Fondike Highway, Highway 2. We are nearing the end. Thirteen days, we're done with the dumpster. And man, are we dirty, muddy, dusty. Yucky. But I tell you, wow, what an experience. It was. It was so cool being up on the uh, Arctic Ocean. Camping on the Arctic yeah. Ocean. Yeah, and being in the Arctic for another week, uh, yeah. it's just so neat. I, I can't say that I will miss gravel roads. No, I'm so done with them. I'm just, <laughs> ugh. So kind of looking forward to pavement for a little bit. Even if it's frost TV, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> really? So from here, we're continuing to head south and no more Arctic adventures for us. Uh, we're going to oh. get down to the lower 48. Well, hopefully we won't have any more Arctic. The snow's starting to come in. <laughs> I know. So we've got to beat it. But uh, lower 48, here we come. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand Everyone needs someone to rely on Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one we lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith He is the change within us, there is a light Let Him lead the way Lift our hands up and pray today Oh, pray Everyone Somebody to lean on Everyone needs someone who cares If we come together as one Help each other 